Well, the community is coming together after an early morning fire gutted businesses in Yelm. Sky King got an overhead view of just some of the devastating damage there. Here's a look at where this happens, right on East Yelm Avenue near Northeast 103rd Avenue. King 5's Christine Pay is live there now to tell us how business owners are trying to pull through. Christine. Yeah, that fire pretty much destroyed three businesses here at this shopping plaza in Yelm. Among them, a business owner who says she didn't only lose a gym, but a chance to give back to her community. Oh, it's horrible. I mean, these are family businesses. We're a small community here, and you know, they've lost their livelihood. A fire ripped through this part of a commercial building on East Yelm Avenue Wednesday morning. Firefighters getting the call around 1 a.m. A fitness gym, a spa, and a nail salon reduced to char and rubble by daylight. An auto parts store spared with only minor damage. Different uh, fire agencies are working together. They did a great job. It could have been a lot worse. No one was inside the building at the time, and no firefighters were hurt as they battled the flames. For gym owner Melanie Medlock, it's devastating. This is not just a gym. You know, this is a home for a lot of people. A clear loss for Medlock as she surveys the damage, but to her, it's an even greater loss for her community. How are people going to work out? What are they going to do? My first instinct was, is anybody in the building? To some, the Freedom Training Center was just a place to work out. For others, it was a place for mental release during a pandemic. We're hurting because we can't provide that for our members. A realization that's hard for Medlock as she thinks of all who helped her build her business. All of the love and support that I've had for so many years of every single piece of equipment that people have poured into supporting and just watching it in flames. It's, it's hard to watch that, you know. While the building may be destroyed, Medlock's determination isn't. I'm standing here and I'm alive and just the power of people's words and support. Um, I know that we'll we'll be OK. So firefighters are still looking into what exactly caused this fire. They are looking at video to help provide any clues. The ATF also investigating this uh, simply because of the high monetary value of the loss. Firefighters are estimating it to be about one point five million dollars. Live in Yelda, I'm Christine Pay, King 5 News.